watching Hot Ticket, your source for what's happening in Hampton Roads. I'm your host, Michelle Seeger. For 20 years, India Fest has been a fall staple in Hampton Roads, an event steeped in history but never failing to surprise and delight. And on the subject of delight, we're happy to have AIHR's current vice president and their youth representative here with us today. Ladies, I am very grateful that you came to tell us what's up for this year. Well, thank you for having thank us. Thank you. <laughs> now, I mean, like I said, there's a certain amount of cultural tradition and history that's always a part of India Fest. Yes. Tell us about those types of events for this year. Well, we try to bring uh, the uh, try to bring India to Hampton Roads to say with this festival. So it's like a free opportunity for all the citizens of Hampton Roads uh, to take a trip to India. Uh, there'll be regional dances over there. Bollywood is so popular these days. We have Bollywood fusion dances. Mm -hmm. uh, we have henna. You know, it's a temporary tattoo henna uh, over there. We have face painting. You get to sample the Indian foods. We have all different kinds of foods available, vegetarian, non-vegetarian, Indian beverages. Um, you'll have an opportunity to buy some of the outfits uh, as well as some of the jewelry. Oh, that's so, the best part. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is, yeah. And even a photo booth to try things on. Yes, even a photo booth with a backdrop of uh, a famous monument from India. Uh, where you will get to dress up and they'll take pictures of you and even frame it for you so if, uh, you don't really have to do anything but to show up at the photo booth and they'll do everything else for you. And you love the outfit so much you can go purchase one. You can go purchase festival. yeah there are so many different vendors that we have every year and uh, this year as well uh, so you'll have the opportunity to buy you know all different kinds of outfits, jewelry, bangles, you name it, they have it. That's oh, yeah. going to be great. And yeah. Sheena, there's some really um, interesting new things lined up for the kids this year. Mm -hmm. Tell us there's about that. Contest. You know, um, AHR is a 501c3 nonprofit organization, so our money goes to disaster relief programs, um, donate donates to charities, and also we give scholarships out to high school students. There's usually two that they go to. So that's a contest where you just write an essay and submit it and you can get a scholarship. There's a Lego contest too, a science fair this year too. So it'll be tons of fun. The science fair is going to be really interesting because mm -hmm. that's sort of, this is the first annual. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not to mention an essay and poetry contest. Poetry too. That'll be so much fun. Exactly. Now the talent portion of the program do, um, do a lot of younger people tend to uh, participate in that? Mm -hmm. There's tons of dances to watch. I mean, I know a lot of people watch the Bollywood movies on screen, but there's also, you're quite the classical type of, um, the dance is called birth natyam, but it's more of a traditional. traditional dance that has been, that ages back to like, what, 400, 500 years, so. And that's, yeah, Bollywood, I mean. Well, Bollywood is just coming up, so yeah, yeah we're being known by Bollywood. You go to a local, you know, club where they're playing Bollywood music, so that's, uh, you know, everybody's familiar with that. Oh, yeah. Uh, but she's talking about the more traditional Indian dancing, like the folk dancing that's there, mm -hmm. so they'll be doing something like that over there, too. So it's a good opportunity for everybody to come over there and, you know, experience the culture of India. Wide variety of dancing. There's also a yoga demonstration, too, so. So for a first timer, what do you recommend? If you're only gonna see one thing, what do you recommend? Well, I would recommend you come in the morning, stay for the entire day. You will have a chance to sample all the foods that we have, all the jewelry and clothes, like I said. But this year, for the first time, also they're gonna have a networking event for the local businesses mm -hmm. in partnership with HRCC, uh, as well as they're working on a partnership with the uh, sister cities of Norfolk and probably Red Cross. So that would be a good opportunity for all the businesses to come together as well. You know, see what we have to offer and see what they have to offer. Wow, there's just so yeah. much going on. Mm -hmm. It's, it's uh, India Fest has gone on from, uh, we used to do it at the web center at ODU, mm -hmm. but then we started in 2010, we moved it to uh, the scope uh, because of such a huge participation. Uh, but even that got smaller. So from last year onwards, we're having at the convention center. Uh, the good thing is also with the convention center, it's all under one roof. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Uh, it's free parking as well. Oh, so, that's going to be great. Yeah. Free admission, free parking. Free raffles every year, free food sampling at designated times. So, go to India for free this year. Yeah. Go to India On for November free. November 14th, 11 to 7 at the Virginia Beach Convention Center. As always, check out AIHR.org for all the info. For Hot Ticket, I'm Michelle Seeger.